<laughs> Rob yes, of Bing. course. And Carlsman C in studio. He's playing Caroline's all this weekend, starting tonight, 8 o'clock show, all the way through Sunday. And uh, Rick wants in. Rick, go ahead. Hey, uh, <clears throat> Carlos, so you might look at his eyes a little uh, closer. He might be wearing them brown contacts. <laughs> 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 Are you wearing brown contacts, sir? You motherfucker. <laughs> you son of a bitch. How did you find that out? How did you find that out? Covering up that blonde hair with the hair dye, too. Yeah. God damn. That was great. I love the show. All right, thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's say hi to Doug in Tennessee. <laughs> Doug, what's up? Hey, guys, what's going on? Hey, hey Doug. Hey, I just want to say I've been listening to Opie and Anthony's show for a couple of months now, and I love it. I quit listening to Man Cow. But uh, anyway, I just want to tell Carlos that I love your work, man, and your little thing on mind to see about the Army. I'm a white guy, and I was in the Airborne, dude. Oh, that's right. That what was, was that a... bit? I don't think I saw that one. Well, it's it's this whole bit about how, like, it started, everything starts off with somebody telling me some shit. So this guy came up to me once after a show, after I did some Middle Eastern stuff. And he was like, you should be careful. Be doing jokes about those people, you know. They're crazy. And I'm oh, like trying boy. to say, are you crazy? Yeah. You're trying to tell me you're fucking crazy? And he's like, I'm just saying, you know, we're crazy people. And I was like, dude. Obviously. <laughs> I go, I'm an American. We're fucking crazy. You guys aren't crazy. Maybe other Americans are afraid of you. I'm not a pussy American. I ain't fucking afraid of you. And he goes, well, you know, we fucked up two of your buildings. And I go, and we fucked up two of your countries. You want to play this fucking game? Let's keep going, bitch. We're fucking crazy. You know, we might get an atomic weapon. We do have them. And we have used it. We're the only fucking country to drop nukes on another one. You don't know shit. I'm fucking crazy. Plus, you don't want to mess with a country that has the mixed that, that we have. You know, we have crazy white guys. That's who jumps out of fucking planes. Blacks and beaters, we, we will not jump out of a fucking plane. But white dudes, X Games, bitch. You guys will fucking do it. Black guys drive our tanks. I don't know if you know this. Uh, racially speaking, more black guys drive tanks than any other race. And our hit to kill ratio is 75 to 1. Yeah, but the tanks all have rims on them. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Spinners. What is it? It does drive vice. That's why we're so good at this shit. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, here's the interesting thing. Uh, Hispanics get the shittiest grades in America. The easiest branch of the military to get into is actually the army, which you would think there are more people of Hispanic descent in the army, but there's not. There's more people of Hispanic descent in the Marine Corps, and that's because they're the first to always fight. Knife so when we got to go kick... Knife fighting, baby. So when we have to go kick Iraq's ass, and we get a phone call from Iran and Pakistan, right, who border the country on the mm -hmm. east, west, and south, and they say, you can fly over our airspace, but you cannot step on our ground to inject troops to kill our Muslim brothers, that's when the president can call the Bina Marines and say, can you guys cross the border without being seen? <laughs> <laughs> and it's not that long a, not that long a trip from uh, from uh, Tijuana to Pendleton. That's a pretty uh, You're right. quick little job. Pen Pendleton is just like uh, 30 miles away from yeah. the border. It's a <laughs> Man, people uh, that haven't lived in California, in Southern California, because I used to live, uh, I lived in uh, San Juan Capistrano. For, uh, Where the birds fly. Years. Yeah, the swallows come back every year, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, swallows come back and Anthony shoots them. Yeah, <laughs> shoot them, bastards. And uh, people don't realize, I don't know if they, they still do it, the artillery practice. Yes. Where at night you'll just hear, you yeah. hear bombs going off yeah. over the, the hills. It's, it's badass, yeah, right? You'd think it's thunder at first when I first moved out there. and then the I like when they do the amphibious bombs. training. That's badass. Yeah. When they have the like, you know, the boat, the boats that turn into cars. Yeah, yeah. That's some shit right there, dude. It's great stuff to watch. And then yeah. you hear him just blowing shit up all the time. That's badass. There. Yeah. All right, now we got to go back to the phones. The reaction we're getting today is unbelievable. Unbelievable. A lot of positive, negative as well. Jose, go ahead. Yeah, hello. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, man. How the fuck does this motherfucker say he's an American? And he didn't even pass the citizenship test. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I did pass the test. I just didn't go swear in. Hey, come on, asshole. You're not American. Shut the fuck up. Bye, guys. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but because you didn't swear in, now you got to take the test again? I have to do everything Holy all God. over again. I even have to take the picture again. And now the pictures are really weird because it's September 11th. So you actually have to, like, show both ears and certain angles of your face so that they can scan it and digitally. Wow. Oh, yeah, dude. It's creepy. Pretty strict. Yeah, hey, you know creepy. something? Good. <laughs> I don't, I don't have to do it. So Perfect. fuck them. Good. I want everything. Mm -hmm. I want UPC codes tattooed on your foreheads. 
So like they, the cop could just pull you over and go, Brip, scan you like a <laughs> grocery item. No, but they and should do that will now. Pop up. It should. It, I should have that now. When you become an American citizen, they should drop that shit. Yeah. Like now, like if you want to become a resident, that's when they should put barcodes and all kinds of creepy I shit. I love the idea of a barcode being on people. I like it on the hand so the cop could just be there and go, All right, um, put your hand out the window. And from his car, he could just... <laughs> All right, you can go. <laughs> like they, no danger again. Yeah, but you, shot but nothing. You know those scanners never work. The cop's going to be in the back going, I need the key. <laughs> I need the key. Crime check on the Negro in the Chevy. <laughs> I need a crime check. <laughs> Let's say hi to a barcode. That'd be funny. You know that wetbacks wouldn't give a shit. You know that, right? You know that if you went anywhere south of the border and you said, hey, we'll let you in, but you got to put a barcode on. Yeah, fuck. Uh, fuck barcode? Oh, they're barcoding I, their ass. I said do it myself. <laughs> right, I know. Where do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Albert in Texas. Albert. Hey, what's going on, guys? How are you guys doing? All uh -huh. right, Albert. I also want to say what's up to Adam. I think he's a funny dude, too. Thanks, and brother. As far as all these other guys dogging Carlos, man, you know what, Carlos, I get that shit out here, too, man. I mean, uh, uh, I own my own truck. has got a big old black heater belt. And there's some guys that just can't see another dude succeed. Uh, before I started listening to ONA, I used to listen to uh, XM Comedy. And I've never heard Carlos say a joke that was repeated from, you know, from another comic. Well, I, you know, uh, I see you, Carlos, every time you come to El Paso, you hick ass. They never missed the show. That take a joke. America CD is the fucking best. I've heard it in a long time. I love that CD, a without a doubt. All you right. know, I mean, I think my favorite is uh, my favorite Albert. is America Rules, dude. You get, if if you're a Carlos fan, you gotta get that album. Well, America now I Rules. See the covers of your albums because there's one I really <laughs> enjoyed a lot. America Rules. Maybe it was America. Was Rules. recorded 11 days after September 11th, and I wrote every single one of those jokes within three days. And then recorded that album. It is so fucking raw. Yeah. Yeah. Like I listen to it now and go, oh. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. He, ooh. There's there. You know what I mean? It was funny. Yeah. But because the audience was pissed. Oh, I liked uh, Take a Joke I don't America. Doubt it. Yeah. They Take let me get away from this shit. Wow. Uh, yeah, it was crazy. Dude. I want to get into the battle one of these days between um, Adam <laughs> and uh, Brian Regan because I hear that's hot and heavy. <laughs> Both of you nasty I heard mouth. about that oh, one. Awful. You know I why? About that. He's a Cuban. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jack in Kansas. Go ahead, Jack. Hey, what's up, Carlos? You're badass, man. I'm a big fan. I appreciate that, man. I was just in Kansas. Oh, yeah, cool. Up, cool, in, up, in, up in Lawrence at the University of Kansas. All right, I got to point out something That's a here. niche in the Southwest. Why is it that all the guys uh, you know, sticking up for you all have the same accent? Beaners? They all have the same accent hey, on the phones. What Jack, did I, what did I tell you earlier? Jack, what's your nationality? I got backup, bitch. Hispanic, man. Mexican. I want Mexican, huh? I want one, just one white dude to, to, to uh, stick up for Carlos. One today. white guy did from the south. Isn't he a little far Earlier. north for, uh... Yeah, Kansas? Kansas. The fuck is... Dude, you were supposed to stop in, like, Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was supposed to stop in Texas. Texas? <laughs> he just went one state further and went, so I'm sure immigration <laughs> isn't coming this far. <laughs> If you hit Kansas, they let you go. <laughs> they let you go. <laughs> Kansas or bus. <laughs> Doug in Nebraska. Hey, Carlos, I love your stuff, man. Rogan sucks. Every, Rogan is good for one thing. He makes me turn the radio off whenever he comes on. Maybe he's just pissed because you actually have a comedy show, and he has to watch people eating fucking intestines. And what's your nationality, Doug? Uh, I'm a big, fat white guy. <laughs> well, here's something. I'm a big fat white guy. Here, here's something a little different. Wizard, he loves the beaner, but wants to give him shit, so he earns it. So right. let's go to, to uh, the earn wizard. The love. Wizard. Yo, man, what's up, beaner? What's up, bro? Hey, bro. Wait, are, are you a cracker? Oh, no, man, I'm a truck driver, I say. <laughs> is it Grand Wizard? Are oh, you? No, no, I ain't that damn good. They just call me Wizard, the are, one and the only. Are you Rubber Ducky? Uh, no, we no, got no, ourselves no. a con boy. <laughs> uh, you get that girl up in front of me. I guarantee that duck will squeal. <laughs> You're something, Wizard. <laughs> hey, is that your, is that your call Peter. name? Hey, Wizard, is that your call name on the CB? Seriously? Yeah, 
man. It's Wizard 221, United States Nation on 18 wheels, brother. Oh, Holy Jesus. shit. They got on the radio and go, hey, Wizard 221. <laughs> you got the Wizard. <laughs> yeah. Can, can, can eight on the side. Keep her between the ditches. Yeah, you bitch. shake the trees, I'll rake the leaves, good buddy. You got some pretty seat covers out here. Just look out for the Kojak with the Kodak. Yeah, say, say, bitches. yell into that and say, we got ourselves a convoy. You got, a, you, got you a convoy there, wizard? Convoy. You can't call it a convoy anymore, man. They'll bust your ass it's against the law. You know what we call it now? Like now I'm in Illinois. We call it the choo-choo train, motherfuckers. Get choo-choo the train. Away. The right. choo-choo right. train. Puerto Ricans call it that, too, but it's yeah, referring but to something different. All right, wizard, you done? I'm done, bro. It'll be cool. All right, All right man. <laughs> so what do you got on the Hurricane Katrina? We can't call it. We can't call it a convoy no more. It's against the law. <laughs> against the law. How is it now the choo-choo? How, is, calling it a How do you go from convoy to... You're a fucking truck driver. You can't yeah. say choo-choo, dude. No. You can't say choo-choo if you're a truck driver. I can't driver. see Chris Christopherson starring in choo-choo. <laughs> oh, doesn't really work. Mercy sakes alive, we got us a choo-choo. A choo-choo. <laughs> Won't you join up on our choo-choo? Yeah. <laughs> Won't you slide right in our choo-choo, baby? Well, this here can't be done. I'm, r- I'm running block for a choo-choo. <laughs> I, love, I love that this song says, we're going to do what they say can't be done. Yeah. A bunch of trucks can't get on the road and ride in the same direction. <laughs> Who fucking said that? Who was the perk? You you can't. I, I bet you you can't get a bunch of trucks in a row going in the same direction. What the hell? I bet you can't. <laughs> what is that? Stonehenge? <laughs> what is it? You can't cross the yellow lines. <laughs> a flying machine? That's preposterous. <laughs> what? The, what the fuck? Wings? Only birds have wings. Son. <laughs> Only birds have wings. See, they had if I wanted a- us to fly. He'd have given us. Wings. They had a long way to go and a short time to get there. See, that's the. Uh, hey, you can't drive fast and get there quicker. That's bullshit. They had to work together. Right. <laughs> can't do it. Not unless it's downhill. That's what it was about. <laughs> Rubber ducky. <laughs> uh, is um? I noticed we had a phone call on the line. I'm just worried for his safety. Is he going to shoot himself? Uh, Jim Norton. I don't yeah. know. I'm calling him after the show. Jimmy called. His name was on the on the phone thing. And just to think, we don't have time for you, Jimmy. No, uh, that's he's going to jump out of fucking building. We're uh, just in the middle of a whole bunch of stuff. That's all. Yeah, I know. I just I miss. By the way, I miss you, Jimmy. I miss you. Last time he was we here, we all miss our little Jimmy Norton. Jimmy comes back Tuesday for a few days, and then he goes back out to Hollywood. He's filming an HBO series. Hollywood. Yeah. Oh, he's doing he's doing a half hour special. I uh, know that airs uh, October 21st. Okay. He's uh, doing the Louis uh, C.K. The Louis C.K. Is Louis he C.K. like a regular cast yeah. member on the oh, show? Oh, yeah, he is. Fucking it. Good for they're him, done, man. Yeah. I've heard nothing but great things about that show. So we the lost uh, Jimmy for like three or four months. He's he's coming and going. He comes back for a few days, and he goes back out for a no, couple we have weeks. people fill in. Jimmy's like, fucking uh, funny. Adam Farrar, Adam. who's playing uh, Rascals <laughs> and Montclair. Montclair, starting tonight, right? Tonight, Thursday through Sunday. So the Hurricane Katrina thing, not to set you up, but... Uh, some observations. Was well, they didn't. They didn't at? let me say some shit on 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 Comedy Central, which pissed uh, me off. I don't doubt it. They didn't let me say. Well, what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about those stupid fucking people that they actually sent buses to the ghetto to pick up, but they didn't get on the bus. Yeah. And of course, because they were black, people were like, "Well, you can't." You know, some of those people died, and I'm like, well, "What the fuck?" They sent buses to pick them up, and they asked yeah. these people, "Why didn't you get on?" And they were like, "Well, where were we gonna go?" Motherfucker, away from the hurricane, bitch. How about that shit? <laughs> Just leave the area. Just get the fuck out. Do you know that there's a huge Honduran and Mexican population in 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 uh, New Orleans? They must have left. Exactly. Because I saw none of them. None. <laughs> they sent one fucking bus, and we all got on it. <laughs> one goddamn bus, and they said, we're taking you to Mexico. And they said, we don't give a fuck. Is hurricane going to Mexico? No. Vamonos a Mexico. Fucking idiots. I didn't see one Honduran uh, dangling from a helicopter <laughs> <laughs> in that whole... Every bit of coverage I watched. This is fucking unbelievable, these people. You, you gotta feel sorry for them. Motherfucker. And then they try to equate it. Well, you live in Southern California where they have earthquakes. Yeah, but we wake up one day and shit's shaking. 
They don't yeah. tell us for a whole fucking week on the news. Hey, you see that giant fucking cloud down there? The one so big it's got a fucking name? <laughs> by the way, you guys believe, live below sea level surrounded by water. You're basically a bowl, and guess what's coming? Soup. Get the fuck out. <laughs> no, we're good. Stay and hang out. See what happens. I was blown away when I heard the hospitals are losing power, right? Yeah. Auxiliary power. They actually don't have fucking codes there. Like in California, we have codes, right? You got to build structures big right, enough. When they're right. big, you got to put springs underneath because there's fucking earthquakes. Yeah. These people live below sea level. They're surrounded by fucking dikes, and they put the they put their fucking generators in the basement. In the basement, right? <laughs> I, have, I have nothing. I got nothing else. I guess the fucking should, basement. I guess it should be on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> well, not one person that, said, "Hey, maybe we ought to yeah. put a code in there." Nothing. Yeah. That's, fucking uh, people. I wasn't sure if you want me to jump in and say, "I guess it should be on the roof." That, that, you could yeah, go. No, that's, that's it. Hilarious. I mean, you could draw your own fucking conclusions. It's on fucking believable. And that's, then and then they yeah. shoot they shoot at the fucking helicopters and then they go why am I fucking ain't picking a nigga up <laughs> <laughs> don't shoot the fucking helicopters the fuck you guys doing oh is it cause I'm black it's cause you got a gun motherfucker <laughs> I don't care that you're black holy shit who cares get the fuck out oh man <laughs> and now all of a sudden you know that yeah. city needs to be rebuilt yeah. who's gonna rebuild it black people ain't coming back that that that's your place is gonna turn into little fucking Mexico you that's think? all that's who's gonna fucking build it. I swear to God, this is a true story. I know it sounds fucked up, but it's true. My friend, he took pictures of this shit, and he actually took a video camera to uh, the stadium in Houston. All right? Mm -hmm. Remember when that big deal was going down when they were giving out $2,500 oh, gift cards? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We know what right. you're going to say. Go ahead. They actually had contractors, big contracting companies that won bids to rebuild shit in New Orleans. He took a picture of both lines at the same time. The fucking contractor's line had two people in it. <laughs> two fucking people. And Try. they were both beaners. I, they weren't even the fucking black people in the other shirt. Two people just trying to two get some Two beaners work. just like, you know, uh, you're going to rebuild. Let's go. And, and everybody else. seen an opportunity and the rest getting their free uh, Where's my money? Their free Holy credit card shit. Thing. It's wow. un-fucking believable. And, and yeah. they, Comedy Central is like, you can't say that stuff. Some of the people died. I'm like, some people should fucking die. They're retarded. <laughs> well, you know, because cause it's only because they, you know what I mean? Because they tell them, hey, a hurricane's coming. I bet you if they told them a big-ass black nigga with a 12-inch dick is going to come and fuck you and your family in the ass in three days. I bet you they'd get the fuck out. A hurricane's the only thing you, that you get advance notice for. And That's they it. still die. And, and you still, for anyone to die like that in a hurricane is completely ridiculous. You, you you have advance notice that it's coming. It's not like an earthquake. Tornadoes just spring up out and of nowhere. And it's got a name. You guys get hit by blizzards. When's the last time you got hit by a blizzard called Alberto? When's the last time that <laughs> should happen? <laughs> See, it's political correctness. They should give these hurricanes fucked up names. You know what I mean? That that scare people. That yeah. make people go, holy yeah, shit. Katrina, Katrina didn't really. not fucking scary. Didn't scare me. Scary ass Puerto Rican with a knife. That might make a motherfucker get out. You see what I'm saying? Something scary. Something creepy. Yeah. Oh, you can't say that. People died, Carlos. People are fucking stupid. There's a place called Tornado Alley and people live there. Yeah. There's not... You don't even need a joke for that. It's fucking Tornado Alley. And they're still surprised. I can't believe I got hit by a tornado. And people will just... They'll move right back into New Orleans. They won't do anything to make it any safer. They can't lift it above sea level. And they'll rebuild... And people move in their businesses and houses again, and yeah, and over time, course, it's might take a hundred years. It's open now. Yeah, the French yeah. Quarter. Yeah. But I mean, they'll well, they made a big deal about the first strip club reopening. We really? need our tits. Oh yeah, we oh, need yeah. our tits. Sure, that's Something very important. About, they're know. dancing back. The uh, titties are back. Yeah, the titties it. are back. Yes, and they'll be, they'll be a Mardi Gras. Please welcome to the main stage, Katrina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> Katrina is going to be stripping there. <laughs> Carlos, that's going to be the new big name, Katrina. Yeah. yeah, I got a quick question for you. So you're doing the show on Comedy Central, Mind and Mencia. They picked up the second season. Yeah, which, congratulations. Thanks, man. But you just brought up something that was very interesting. It doesn't it get frustrating when you know there's material that will kill on the TV show, like this Hurricane Katrina stuff, yes. and they're saying. Dude, you just can't do that because people died. Right. right? Isn't that frustrating? Yeah, but that's the shit we went through. Fuck the FCC. That's <laughs> some of the shit we went through on commercial radio. Right. Yep. Right. Now we're on satellite. The freedom we have to just pretty much let it fly is unbelievable. Beautiful, right? Yeah. Uh, so how, how do you deal, uh, well, deal with that? We did see, like, we got around it by saying, 
I, I think I did some of the material, but I said something like, I'm not talking about the people that died or the sick people. I'm talking about the people that could get out. Right. You got to, like, preface it by saying that. Yeah. I mean, it's still yeah. edgy for TV. But there's but probably it, but also there's like, other stuff that you know would just kill. Yeah. You know, you're a creative guy, a funny guy, and they're saying, nah, because you know of what? some stupid reason. Most of the stuff that that they've not let us get away with, believe it or not, is shit that you'd be like, you got to be kidding me. That's what they chose to fight about? Uh, let me think of one. Oh, here's here's an example. You guys were talking earlier about the mariachis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We did this piece where I was a mariachi guy, and I was singing really fucking obnoxious songs to people. You know, so there was a couple, and they were, we're just friends. Uh, he wants to fuck you. He wants <laughs> to fuck you. You know what I mean? Shit like that. And uh, there was this uh, Asian group, and they were celebrating Chinese New Year at a Mexican restaurant. Yeah. So there was this stupid, there's this whole stupid song about what are you doing celebrating fucking Chinese New Year at a Mexican restaurant, blah, blah, blah. And then there was the tag, and the tag was, come back when it's Cinco de Mayo. And they actually didn't. Let us say that. So you could say bleeped, Cinco de Mayo. They bleeped Cinco de Mayo. Meanwhile, I said Beaner and Wetback 32 times on that episode. Well, because you're Cause, a Beaner. Because you can an say Asian, <laughs> An Asian guy would be able to get away with that. That's things. the Asian stupidest guy can say rule shit. in comedy. You're allowed, to, you're allowed to say because you're one of them. That, I hate that rule. Yeah, but then we did That's a piece called... That's why Whitey gets so gypped. But we did a piece called Nigger Nigga, and they didn't beep that. But Cinco yeah. de Mayo, that's where they drew the line. All right, with that, we got to say goodbye to Carlos Messi. He's playing Caroline's all this weekend. Very funny guy. I've seen many Carlos uh, shows, and I, I enjoy it every time because you, you change up your <laughs> material. Uh, Caroline's, the number here in New York City, 212-757-4100. Carlos, thank you so much. Love you guys. Me. Love the uh, show. Always. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, Bye. <laughs>